What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another movie review on Action Industries. My name is Ben. And I am Andrew. And, and this is Jackass! <laughs> yes! What if I just, like, dumped a spider in your lap? Or, I like... thought about doing an intro where, like, one of us hit the other one. <laughs> yeah, or maybe I, maybe one funny. of us hit the other one with their car. <laughs> that'd be funny. <laughs> we actually, you know, uh, amongst our little digital group, that. have done more things like that than most. You've tackled me through a table before. It's true, and uh, you hit me with a chair. I knocked you out of the chair. Oh! Oh! He got him in the stomach! I don't believe what's happening! Oh! I'm actually knocked out, but it's a good clip. But you hit me with a real metal chair. I did, I did. And most people, I don't I don't think they can say those two things. Mm -hmm. So That's true. So we're actually professionals and uh, <laughs> seasoned veterans when it comes to reviewing something like Jackass. Uh, my relationship with it's a little bit different than you. I watched it growing up, not like a ton on TV, but yeah. I do love the movies. I watched all the movies as they came out, and I watched uh, the first ones a lot with my buddies growing up. I never have seen a Jackass movie until this Jackass movie, um, but I have seen like I, countless feels like feels like hours and hours and hours, hundreds of hours it feels like of reruns on TV. I mean, it was everything when we were kids. Like you couldn't yep. avoid it. Like it was on all the time. So I've seen tons and tons and tons of sketches. I know all the guys. Um, and it was definitely fun to watch this movie. We, we, there was a legitimate laugh out loud moment in the theater every five minutes. It felt like. Yeah, I mean, I there was a point where I was starting to get a little self conscious. I was like, am I laughing more than everyone else? Yeah. Because like I just love this. Like this is like I, I live off of it. You know, I kind of love watching people get hurt. <laughs> and I think that the way that they set stuff up is always brilliant. I always find it like really uh, interesting to see like what gadgets or whatever they build or and, you know so. There was a, a couple moments in the theater where I, I like I was like starting to laugh and I was like all right I'm gonna hold on a second just I'm gonna hold off and then I could hear I just wanted to make sure I wasn't crazy <laughs> but the whole time the whole theater was like laughing out loud which is exactly what should happen when you're watching a Jackass movie you should either be going oh or you should be like laughing out loud yeah so I think we're gonna talk a little mm -hmm. bit about some of our favorite stuff we're gonna try not to spoil the gags yeah. uh, give give away too much stuff there was. A lot of different. Um, there's a lot of quick gags. Like yeah. they, they threw in a ton. Like I mean, and then and then the credits. That was the funny thing. In the credits, they rolled like another like 25. It felt like different cut scenes that they didn't use for the movie. Yeah, it's so weird, you know, hearing you talk about Jackass because you've never seen it before. Yeah, but like sure. that's that's like you know, there's some things where you know you would watch the movies and you would see a quick gag or like a quick whatever you call them. I, I want to call them a sketch, but they're really a stunt. Yeah. You see a quick stunt, you're like, oh God, I wonder if they did more of that or I want to see that again or like maybe it was just a one and done. And so you kind of like wait for the rest of the movies if they're going to splice it in or the rest of the movie if they're going to splice it in again or if you're going to see it again in the credits. So I really like that because they had so many different stunts throughout this movie that you were hoping they'd revisit a few or you were hoping that maybe certain characters or certain of the uh, guys would get involved a little bit more or in different ways. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, it was uh, the perfect amount of runtime, but they packed a lot in there. Definitely. And I mean, I, a lot of the stuff, some of the ones throughout, I recognized a couple of the more famous sketches I can remember from honestly, the old Jackass movie trailers and then clips from the show. And then at the end, they go in and they actually show you the original sketch and then sort of what they were trying to yeah. recreate in the movie, which was fun. Cause I, uh, some of them I was like, I feel like I've seen this before. And obviously it turns out that was the point of a lot of what this movie was. Yeah. They're trying to, it, it was interesting cause this movie wasn't, um, a whole, it wasn't like super emotional, yeah. you know, it's like they didn't, um, keep going back to them when they were younger. They would show like quick clips of it or they'd like cut to quick moments of them when they were younger, like talking about something like that or just having a moment together. But it wasn't like the type of like pull at your heartstrings thing that I thought they might do. Were you surprised a little? Cause I honestly was like, these guys are all in their fifties now. This is probably the last one. There's so much nostalgia. Like I think they wanted us to just watch and enjoy the show that we used to yeah. which is like it wasn't a super emotional show obviously ryan's not there and bam margera's not there so that's like a little um you know it's it's, it's already a little bit different the bam thing is, is kind of you know su they're both super unfortunate but the bam one is a bummer just knowing that he is still around um but that he wasn't involved so like i think they were just trying to be like you know what forget it let's bring in the new guard i thought the new people did a great job yeah you know like you were saying these guys are getting old they're in their 50s so it was really important that they had younger people that could you know their bodies are a little bit more elastic yeah i mean after after have after going through some personal injury myself these last few years and living with chronic pain it was hurt, it hurt me to watch this i was oh. like i was yeah. watching i was like literally any of the things that i'm watching hitting the ground like that falling on your ass like that your yep. shins like that's like i 
Oh, God, I wouldn't want to live with that injury for the rest of my life. Any one of these things. Crazy. And they have everything that you want, right? They have them pranking each other. They have, you know, gags that look like one stunt, but then turn into something else. You have the behind the scenes stuff. You have just the straight comedy gags. And then you have, like, people getting hurt, you know? Yeah. Like, that you have everything that you want in a jackass movie and again i really do love the uh, the newcomers you're always a bit skeptical when you've been with the crew for so long sure um but i thought they did a really good job did you have a favorite a favorite bit sketch stunt tonight um god i'm trying to think of one that made me like laugh the hardest or if there was something that, that just killed what, what's yours i think i really like the one uh early on where they turn the lights off and are like welcome to hell <laughs> and then they're and they're simulating they're simulating like there's a rattlesnake in the room and everybody's freaking out and then there's like the second room there was so much good stuff in that sequence there's so many good moments some of was, my some of my favorite things throughout the entire franchise or the series or like the one-offs or the ones that aren't even that like they're not even that vicious but they're kind of like just perfect yeah and i really love the one where he was lining up the uh like the football launcher yeah and, yeah, and yeah. he did it like outside of someone's trailer and he threw a vo <laughs> volleyball through it and right as they open the door it just beams him in the head there's just <laughs> stuff like that that's just like it's just chef's kiss for it's me. It's the kind it's of like stuff that you'd want to do to your friends and laugh. Yeah. That's what that because to me that's the stuff that I think is the most successful. And it's probably why Jackass Forever works so well. Is that I think because these are personalities, and really the only person in this that is a true like every sketch celebrity is Johnny Knoxville. He yeah. he became the face of it. I would have said Bam was very famous because obviously he had something else going on as a pro skater. Mm -hmm. um, those were kind of the early on. Those are the two names that always came up. But he's the one that you recognize. But everybody else there, you can just tell. Like, they've known each other forever. It yeah. really does feel like the shit that I remember when we were growing up. Our friends would try to do shit like this to each other. I mean, oh, of course. Everybody had a camcorder. Like, you know, it's summer camp. We filmed one one year for three weeks. We filmed stunts. We pushed somebody over in a porta potty once and filmed it. <laughs> I mean, it was horrible Must for them. Sucked for them. Yeah, that's yeah, horrible. <laughs> yeah. Of course, porta potties are involved in this one. Of course, animals are involved in this. Bugs are involved in this. A lot of full frontal male nudity is in yeah. this, you know, as you would expect from Jackass. Like I said, it is all of the things that you would hope to see in a Jackass movie. Um, I loved it. I'm excited to watch it again. And I definitely think that they, they did the whole entire series, the lineage, the legacy, whatever you want to call it. They did it really proud. I think so too. I mean, I definitely, I definitely enjoyed it. And I think there's some amount of like, when we, you go in there and we're a little older now. So it's like, is this going to seem be as funny to me? Mm -hmm. And you know, there was like, it was three phases. Phase one was I'm dying laughing. Phase two was right. like, all right, like that's the same thing over and over again, and then and then phase three was like, no, this is still hilarious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, it's like I'm not, I've not outgrown this. You'll never outgrow this. It's always no, gonna be it, funny. It, 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 that's the best thing about the Jackass movies is you go back and revisit them like once every year or two, and you will always laugh your ass off, just like you will with this one. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about Jackass Forever. You guys should definitely go check it out and do not attempt to do those stunts. Do not attempt to do those stunts at all. Uh, if you guys are here for the first time, this is Action Industries. I'm Ben. That's Drew. We do movie reviews. We do trailer reactions. We have a podcast called The Best and the Worst where we take a franchise, an actor, a director. We talk about the best and the worst movie. And we just actually released The Best and the Worst of Middle Earth yesterday. You guys can find it. The video is dropping on the channel tomorrow, but it's available on audio right now. You can find the link in the description below. There's a lot of good episodes of that. So check that out if you like movies. Yeah, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bye, guys.